I don't talk about sobriety a lot anymore just because I'm at a point in my life where I don't feel that I need to. Like I, I still have my struggles, don't get me wrong, but I know how to work through them. And from time to time, I still get asked by people, what did I do? What helps me? So for those of you who maybe are early on in sobriety or your recovery, I'll share a couple of things that worked for me. And what I'm gonna tell you definitely doesn't work for everybody. And it's probably not recommended for most people. Uh, so what I did early on in my recovery is I isolated, which is not recommended, okay? And the reason I isolated, I wanted to find a way to weed out the people that I don't need in my life. Um, the people who would call me Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, or even Sundays and ask me if I'd want to go to a patio, if I'd want to have a barbecue, just essentially alcohol. Uh, for me, I struggle with everything. I don't have that on-off switch. If I do one thing, I'm going to do it to the extreme. Or I'm going to have everything possible at my disposal. Um, so for me, th there's no... California sober or an occasional drink just because I know it's all or nothing so I isolated and I eventually just made excuses or whatever it was to not hang out with those people especially if I knew who was going what they were going to get up to or what was involved in the activities they wanted to do so that, that was a big thing for me um, and then finding an outlet something that made me happy right whether it's video games, going hiking, camping, working out, taking my dog for a walk, spending time with my dog, things that just made me happy and content with myself and not any outside influences of any sort. So that, that's something I did. So whether it's crafts, arts, um, physical activities, finding something that brings you happiness, that was a huge thing. Another thing I did that really worked for me um, was going back to finding comfort by myself. So treating myself to a movie, going to the mall shopping by myself, uh, taking myself to dinner, just doing things and being happy and comfortable with myself. Absolutely worked wonders for me. Um, uh, finding a way to give back to other people, I found was a very healing process, whether it was donating or volunteering I should say my time at an animal shelter simple little actions like holding the door open for a complete stranger smile waving at people offering to help bring their groceries or even like a pay it forward thing without even meaning to pay it forward maybe someone in front of me at the grocery store only had like five or six items and I have money to spare I just go up and tap and pay for their their groceries little things like that without any intentions of getting something in return just to give but the biggest thing that has helped me is communication. Having someone in my life, whether it's an online friend, such as a platform that I have that I'm so grateful for, being able to do a live stream and talking and just kind of venting and getting off my chest, or having an amazing and supportive girlfriend who I can talk to at any given moment of the day, and just being vulnerable, and knowing that I'm not going to be judged. Maybe I'm really down, maybe I'm really depressed and I'm having some bad thoughts, but I'm not going to act on those thoughts, but I just need to talk and get it off my chest. Having someone who essentially can help you find a way to root yourself back or just let you be vulnerable and express yourself. I cannot begin to stress that importance, how huge it was for me to have someone who could let me just be completely raw and in the moment. I would say those four things have become the biggest uh, help for me. The last one that I talked about is finding someone who I can comfortably talk with and not, yeah, I'm all right, I'm doing okay. Not being completely raw and transparent and just putting everything on the table. That has been the biggest step forward to progression for me. So I hope that helps whoever needs to hear this. I know the video is long and I apologize, but I just want to share that with you all. Oh, and one last thing. Be patient with yourself. Be kind. You're going to have hiccups. You're going to have slips. It's not going to be smooth and consistent the whole time. You're going to hit walls and it's going to be conflicting. That's okay. Rather 
rather than looking at a relapse or a lapse or a slip up in your sobriety as a negative thing, take a step back, analyze it, and figure out what was going on in your life, what you were experiencing, and see how you can use that as a learning tool going forward.